What's up everybody? Welcome back to another mobility circuit. We're gonna have three movements here that we're repeating two times. So first one, we're gonna start with adductor open closed look. Wow, this is a, not only a fun one, it looks fun, it looks probably kind of weird. I enjoy it, we're stretching out the adductors and a little bit of the abductors as well. So great stretch, like I said, not only is it fun, but it actually works really well and a lot. So then we're gonna move into supine frog stretch again, targeting the inside of our hips, adductors. Uh, if you find yourself tight on the outside or anywhere else, maybe doing the inside, maybe something that you didn't think of could help that. That's what I've noticed a lot while implementing this with clients, with myself, with athletes. Stretching out where we don't think of stretching out sometimes and can usually help with pain in other areas. Very interesting stuff. That's gonna be 40 seconds as well as the first one. Then we're gonna go into standing pretzel. So yes, working on mobility, also adding in some stability into it, into our hips. So this will be like a standing figure four or similar to an eagle stretch if you know what that is from yoga. I'll show you what all three look like and that last one's gonna be 40 seconds each leg. So we're gonna have this whole circuit two times. Um, you can do it more than two times if you prefer, if you need to, just have fun with it. So adductor open closed book. I'm gonna start out in a supine position and bring in both knees to my chest. So if my, both of my knees were the endings of the book, I'm gonna go ahead and close the book to one side. And then all I'm gonna do now is lean with one knee, I open the book, the other knee follows. You don't necessarily have to lift. This would be more of an active lift. How I prefer doing it, if comfortable, I just open the book until this knee has to follow. This knee eventually does follow because I, you know, I'm not that mobile, I'm not that flexible. And then I just go over to the other side. Now we can go at a similar speed at which I just went. Kind of slow, controlled, nice. Or you can speed it up a little bit. You're not yanking on it, but you're flowing more through it as a dynamic stretch. So really working the adductors here, having fun with it, getting blood flow, getting move flow to it, and that's the goal here. So we're going 40 seconds total. Then we're gonna move into supine frog stretch. So you can stay in that supine position. You can kind of redistribute like me. So what I'm gonna do here is almost same starting position, but now I'm going to reach on the insides of my legs with my arms. So arm is on the inside of the knee, and then I grab my ankle or right below it. And all I'm doing now is just relaxing my feet. Like, I like to leave my feet a little bit more up in the air and just relaxing my knees here. You can also press a little bit on the inside of your legs, getting a little bit more of an adductor stretch for 40 seconds here. Breathing really deep in through the nose, out through the mouth. Last one, we're gonna to go to a standing figure four or standing pretzel. So I'm, I can use the wall here. What I'm gonna do is bend both knees, bring one foot to the knee, almost like my, my leg looks like a number four, and I'm just bending that knee that's on the ground. So in this case, I'm bending my left leg. I'm still getting a stretch, feeling in the outside of this hip on the left side, but I'm also working stability of the single leg as I balance. Again, you can use a wall for some assistance. So we're gonna go 40 seconds each side, really bringing it all together. We started with adductors, then we got more uh, adductors, and then we got the outside wall again, still lengthening the inside and adding in single leg stability on top of that. Like I said, y'all, we have this two times. You can always go more if you need to as well. I'll see you either in the next circuit or I'll see you next time, y'all. Peace.